In this shot, we want to walk you through the osteology of the foot joints. So we are looking at articulated foot bones. So let's review the bones here. This is talus and this is calcaneus. These two actually together form the proximal group of the tarsal bones. Then we have navicular in front of the talus, cuboid in front of, the, in front of calcaneus, and then three cuneiform bones from medial, which is this the big toe from the medial side, to lateral, number one, two, three, or medial, intermediate, and lateral. All these seven bones together are referred to as tarsal bones. Then we have metatarsal bones, which are from medial to lateral, number one to number five. And then on the number five one, or number five metatarsal, we have this tuberosity, which is a, a nice bony landmark on the metatarsal bone. Each metatarsal bone has a base, a shaft, and the head, or proximal end, shaft, and distal end. Then we have phalanges, which are two on the big toe, proximal and distal, whereas on other toes we have proximal, middle, and distal phalanges. Okay, now when it comes to the joints of the, of the foot, so we have ankle joint that later we will see the articular surface of the proximal end, but on the distal end we have just the talus, then that is uh, for ankle joint, then we have the joint between talus and calcaneus. This joint right here is called talocalcaneal joint or subtalar joint. That joint is a synovial planar joint. Then we have transverse tarsal joint right here between the talus and calcaneus on the proximal side and navicular and cuboid on the distal side. That is transverse tarsal joint. The rest of the joints here are intertarsal. Then when we are going down, we have tarsometatarsal joints. This line, which is a synovial planar joint. Going down here, we have the metatarsophalangeal joints, which are synovial condylar joints made between the head of the meta metatarsals and the base of the proximal phalanges. And the last but not least, we have interphalangeal joints, which is one in the big toe and two on the other toes. For the other toes, proximal and distal, and they are synovial hinge joint. So we have only flexion extension on these joints. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit more of the osteology of the, uh, of the ankle joint. So I have a separated talus and calcaneus here. So I'm going to articulate them together like this. Okay, then on the talus side or on the talus, we have the head, the neck, and the body. And on the body, as you can see on the superior surface right here, is kind, kind of like pulley shape. And on the lateral and medial side is a smooth. Okay, so what happens in regards to the ankle joint? It is what happens actually with the ankle joint. So on the proximal end, we have the medial malleolus, right this, on the tibia. Actually, let me hold on the anatomical position. Here is the medial malleolus. Here is the lateral malleolus, which is distal end of tibula. And then this is the inferior surface of distal end of tibia. Then talus practically goes like this between these bones. And that is ankle joint. Now, if I put the articulated bones together, I can form the ankle joint like this. So then the movements of the ankle joint are dorsiflexion, like this, and plantar flexion. Dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. And practically, ankle joint is a synovial hinge joint. Okay? Now, then when it comes to the subtalar joint, which is right here, 
that joint, which is synovial planar joint, the movements of that joint is mostly the supination and uh, uh, pronation. Actually, supination pronation is really too detailed terminology for the foot joints. Maybe I, I need to go with just uh, inversion and eversion. Okay, so if I put the bones together again, right here, okay, so inversion is when the the big toe moves medially and superiorly like this, and eversion like that. If I want to show, usually I show my students with my hand, of course it's not a uh, real joint, real uh, subtalar joint here, but the, let's say this is my foot, when I do this, that is inversion, and when I do this, that is eversion. Um, since I cannot show the, the movements of the uh, metatarsophalangeal and interphalangeal on the bone, um, let me use my hand again to show the movements of the metatarsophalangeal. Let's say this is the metatarsophalangeal. So we have flexion, extension at the metatarsophalangeal and flexion, extension at the interphalangeal joints. We also have abduction, adduction at the metatarsophalangeal. So then hopefully I can move the bones that you can see maybe on the side. It is the flexion extension of the metatarsophalangeal and then flexion extension at the interphalangeal. And then at the metatarsophalangeal we also have abduction adduction when the toes move side to side. In this shot, we want to walk you through the uh, the foot joints in the specimen um, and the supporting ligaments. So first orientation, that's the medial side, that's the lateral side, the big toe here, tibia on the medial and fibula on the lateral side. So let's go with the, with the ankle joint here, right there. So that's the trochlea of the talus that superiorly articulates with the distal end of the tibia. Here is we have medial malleolus with the talus and then lateral malleolus with the talus again. So then that's the ankle joint, okay? Um, then movements, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, okay? Now, the supporting ligaments of the joint um, are two groups, one on the lateral side and one on the medial side. Let's zoom in on the lateral side that we can see the ligaments here. Okay? So these are the tendon of the muscle. I need to uh, put them aside. Okay, so when it comes to the ligaments, lateral side, here is a ligament between the fibula and talus. Anterior talofibular. This one. Anterior talofibular. Then we have Calcaneo fibular right here, and then we have posterior right there, posterior talo fibular right here, okay, right there. Now these three ligaments together are referred to as lateral ligament of the ankle, lateral ligament of the ankle, okay. Now let's go to the medial side, okay? On the medial side, the ligaments are the ligaments between the talus and tibia, talo, uh, tibio, talo ligament, but there is one on the posterior side, then this is anterior, tibio, talo ligament, right here. Then we have tibio, Navicular ligament right here. Then we have tibio calcaneal ligament right there. And then the last but not least, posterior tibio talar ligament right here. Then all these ligaments together are referred to as deltoid ligament. Deltoid ligament or medial ligament of the ankle because all together actually are deltoid shape. So these two group of ligaments support the ankle joint.
So in this older specimen, I would like to walk you through the, the other joints of the foot that have been opened. First orientation, that's the medial side. Lateral side, here is the tibia and the big toe here. So if we can zoom in in these joints, that we can see the joint space. Right here is the ankle joint. Then transverse tarsal joint. And then we have the torso metatarsal joint here, right there between the tarsal bones and metatarsals. Okay, so let's go uh, with another specimen that I can show you the, the ligaments. In this shot, we want to walk you through some of the supporting ligaments of the foot joints. As you can imagine, there are so many ligaments here which are connecting the bones together. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go to the uh, plantar aspect of the foot right here and focus on some important ligaments. One of them is this one, which is the long plantar ligament, long plantar ligament. And the other one, which is super important, is right there. That is plantar calcaneo navicular ligament right there. This is navicular bone. Okay, right here right there and that is plantar calcino navicular ligament this ligament also is referred to as spring ligament because um, if i can show you here on the by the way remember this is the the left foot and that is left foot as well when i turn it see that the calcaneus and navicular here the head of the talus here is exposed okay so then that space here is filled with with this gap uh, i mean that gap is filled by this ligament okay spring ligament okay now going back to the other aspect of the foot the, the dorsal aspect here we have the deep transverse metatarsal ligament this side is open this this space but here deep transverse metatarsal ligaments that support the mtp joints and all the other joints here the intertarsal, um, sorry, the interphalangeal, and also metatarsophalangeal. They are supported by the ligaments on the sides, collateral ligaments, and also the ligaments on the plantar aspect, plantar plate or plantar ligament, which is um, not easy actually to um, or beautifully dissected on the on the specimen.